I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Gaming is feeling a little bit stale lately. Like there, there hasn't been anything that's bringing the hype that's really got me excited that I'm really looking forward to. I mean, we're going to have a fun month coming up. We've got MLB The Show coming out. We've got potentially a COD VR as well as uh, Doom. I definitely want to check out the new Doom. But like just lately, I just I feel like there's been no hype. There's been no excitement. There's been nothing to really look forward to. So I think... You know, obviously we've got our normal series happening. I think we're going to start branching out and just trying some random stuff here and there. And this is one of those games. So this is called Overpass. It came out today and uh, it's an off-road racing, but also just kind of like off-road crawling simulator. So like, it's not as much about going fast as it is getting over the terrain. It's all based off of like little buggies and quads and stuff like that. I'm honestly not sure what to expect, so uh, I think I'm just going to hop in. We're going to see what happens. Looks like we've got a couple of different difficulties. I'm going to go with Pro, and uh, I don't know. We're, we're going to see what this is about. I don't know if this is going to be a full series. I don't know if this is going to be just kind of a one-off video, but I saw it came out today, and I was like, hey, what the heck? We could check this thing out. Welcome to Overpass. Here you'll encounter a little bit of everything Overpass has to offer. And while doing so, learn how to successfully pass the obstacles and rough terrain. Sounds interesting. Now, drive out. Follow the path and the instructions as they appear. First, familiarize yourself with the basic driving controls. Overpass is not all about speed. Many times you'll need to slow down, so don't be afraid to use the brake. Sounds good to me. Looking pretty good so far. Just kind of some simple lateral you moves. You have a handbrake at your disposal. Apart from reducing your speed, you can perform power slides by using the handbrake while turning sharply. If your vehicle ends up on its side or you get stuck, use respawn to get back on track. Hopefully we don't get stuck. Flags and signs help mark out the intended path. Follow them and you'll not get lost. Tearing down a ribbon results in a time penalty. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> Dude, this is great. I don't want to get stuck. I don't want to get lost. I just want to drive my four-wheeler and go mudding. There we go. Off to a pretty good start here. I feel like that's, that's not too bad. Different ground surfaces will affect the traction of the wheels. You'll have less grip while on mud and sand compared with dirt and rock. Now, let's try driving over mud. It'll be harder to accelerate and turn. Time to dig in here, boys. Let's get after it, all right. So we're gonna be getting down in the mud box. You guys can see, I think we do, we've got a choice between four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive. Looks like we've also got differential lock options. You may tell us about that eventually. I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm definitely not a, not a super capable off-roader. I've taken the Jeep out a few times, but never anything too crazy. I actually, I want to get into it, and I think it would make interesting videos, like on the vlog channel, but uh, just haven't, haven't had the time yet. I'm always playing games. Hitting one will result in a time penalty. All right. It's getting a, a little slippery up in here, but we're managing. Get me up to the left here. Get around these guys. Definitely don't want to want to get any time penalties. Can we squeeze through here? Woo! Look at that accuracy, baby. That's oh shoot. Oh, we got around it, baby. Let's go. Okay. Oh. 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 I think we're stuck. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. Looks like we want to go up and over this log here. Dude, doing stuff like this would be so sick. You're driving on. Climbing this slope will be easier if you avoid the muddy areas. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. We want to back up, get a little bit of speed, I would think. Let's try to go up the rock side. Nope. All right. I think we're going to have to approach it at a sl slightly different angle. Here we go. Bank it like a last car turn, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 
Pretty sure I just called it a last car turn, but I meant a NASCAR turn. Beautiful. And we're up top. Having the right speed when traversing obstacles is crucial. Drive slowly enough to avoid overloading the suspension and maybe even damaging the vehicle. Pass the obstacles between the red flags, marking the point of entry. Failing to pass correctly will result in a time penalty. So you gotta go slow enough that it's not gonna overload the suspension and get you stuck and potentially hurt your, your vehicle, but you also can't go too slow that you lose all your momentum and you can't get over top of it. I mean, this is pretty interesting so far. Kind of a bit of a slower style of game. Obviously not a, the traditional race game, but... Well, give me the plus two seconds. Shoot. We hit that corner a little, little too hard. This is a seesaw. Drive up onto it. Stop. And let it flip over. And then drive off. <laughs> off a seesaw results in a time penalty. Ah, you don't want to jump, huh? Do we want to go right or left? Oh, this was a mistake. I think we I think we could have gone right back there, but we just took that over no problem. I've always wanted to get like a razor or something and go out and do stuff like this. I feel like this would be so fun. Obviously in, in game form, like this is cool, but small obstacles like real life would be better. A good technique to avoid getting stuck on your belly is to place the wheels onto the rocks instead of between them. Get in there, Trev. Get in there, bro. Put those wheels on the rocks. Gonna be able to get that surface area work. Oh, no, we're, I think we're stuck on our belly again. Avoid getting these rocks right in the middle of our vehicle. Oh, look at this. It's a, a dog piece of machinery instead of cat. That's funny. All right, so we made it through that. That was actually a fairly complicated section. That was nice, though. We did all right. Obviously, through these sections, we kind of want to try to avoid... The uh, rule in off-road driving is to enter one wheel at a time. Try it out by driving over these pipes at a slight angle instead of straight on. We also don't want to hit these things at the, the peak of their height, either. We want to kind of maneuver our way to the shortest edges. Should be able to go up this one like this. Bring this one this way. Beautiful. All right, so there is. Oh, 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 we're good. There is a little bit of. Uh, there's a bit of strategy behind this. This is this is no joke. You can also just kind of Cindy McSenderson it and just ramp off of everything. But obviously, that's not the the main idea here. In this Oof. hill climb. You'll learn a useful tool and driving technique for climbing steep slopes. The differential lock is a great tool when you're stuck and slipping. With an open differential, if one tire loses traction, the power transfers to the tire that is spinning. That doesn't help much when the spinning tire is in the air. With a locked differential, if a tire loses traction, the other tires can still pull. Okay. The downside to a lock differential is that it gives poor turning radius. To be honest, I didn't really know how those worked. So at least I learned something today, right? Here we go. So we're going to lock our differential when we start getting up into the... the differential lock now. Into this, the sketchy parts here. Still got to be smart and we aren't going to be able to turn on a dime like we normally can. But... It's going to make us a lot more capable as an off-roader. Come on, baby. We made it. All right. Let's just keep going. Come on. You got this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm going to try to ride up this rock face here, I think. Nope, that's not going to work. Okay, this is, uh, this is, this is harder than anticipated. Uh, I want to get over to the right, but we can't really turn that far. We've got a big old rock here in front of us that I don't know that we're going to be able to get around. There we go. This is the direction I want to go. Woo. Steering control. Remember to disable the differential lock when you don't need it. Got it off, and we're gonna be able to come back and steer. Can cause the wheels to spin on the spot. On this slope, less throttle will give you more grip and therefore more forward momentum. Okay. So we want to just kind of ease it 
so we don't spin them tires, boy. Oh, shoot. Are we going to be able to go up that, or are we going to have to take a right here? I think we might have to take a right here. Okay. So we're just going to keep on going. Don't spin those tires. Don't want to go tumbling down this mountain backwards. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We're okay. We lost a bit of momentum, though, is the problem. I wonder if we could go up and around this way. Let's go. We'll take it. Oh, my goodness. Dude, this game is low-key kind of hard. Often you can find multiple paths over the terrain. For this last part of the hill climb, it's up to you to find your way up. <laughs> I can't believe we just made that work, dude. Oh, my goodness. Come around this way. Should be a little easier, I think, than going straight up over those rocks on the left. Just need a head start. There we go. Oh, my goodness, we made it. Now you can try driving an <sighs> ATV. Driving an ATV is a bit different. You can use your rider as a counterweight to help keep the vehicle upright. So you can lean. That makes sense. Leaning toward the slope will prevent you from sliding down or falling over. All right. Let's give it a shot. How do we lean? Oh, lean is, is the right the right stick. Okay, interesting. So we can like lean lean to the left here so we don't tumble over to the right. Looks good. Kind of try to come around this way. Looking good so far. We can lean back. Ooh. Oh, okay. We're going to pretend like that one didn't happen, fellas. And we're going to be a-okay. Looks like we're coming around this way. Bit, bit sketchy to say the least, but we made it. All right, now this is where things Going should get interesting. Has its risk too, so remember to control your speed. Okay. Woo. Dude, I feel you know without a roll cage, feel a lot more exposed here. I don't know if I like this. This would hurt if we fell. A lot more risk. Nice, not too bad. Oh shoot, we want to go left. How are we gonna? How are we gonna get through this, dude? Pull back. We're good. Oh wow, what? What do you want me to do here? There's no way I can get through that. We're gonna have to go up and around. All right. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Whew, we're good. Oh my goodness, dude, we made it. No way. I, th I thought we were going right over the handlebars on that one. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Again, just kind of slow and steady wins the race. You don't got to don't gotta gas it. Don't got to floor it. Looking pretty good so far. Watch out for the logs. Send it. Send it. Send it. We got it, baby. Woo. Beautiful work. All right. Leave her wide open. Here, you are free to drive around and practice. Whenever you're ready to face the real challenges, find and cross the finish line. I'm down for it, dude. Let's go get into our career. I wanna see, uh, I wanna see what this career business is all about. So it looks like if you wanted to, you could literally just drive around and off-road by yourself. But I'm, I'm curious curious what this game's going to be all about, what the career is going to be like, that sort of thing. So let's go, uh, let's go cross this finish line. So it looks like we've got, uh, we got our tutorial mode, we've got our sandbox area, and then we've got our first challenge, which is going to be a pipe climb challenge. We're going to get $5,000 for completing it. I'm going to go ahead and run with our UTV here, the Arctic Cat Wildcat Sport Limited. We've also got a Polaris Ace 900 here. I guess we could go with the Polaris. Kind of interesting, and let's see what we've got. So this is gonna be a race intermediate, 918 meters with sand and dirt. We've got seesaws and tires we gotta watch out for in three laps. Four minutes and 15 seconds is gonna be the gold medal. Got our brand new Polaris hopping into it. Even matching our outfit, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go. So 4.15, we've got three laps. What is that, a minute 25 seconds a lap? I think we're gonna be able to do it. We gotta be quick, we gotta be fast, but we also gotta be smart around these obstacles. Here we go, our first one's coming up right here. Looks like this is the lower side. I'm gonna try to hit it like this. All right. 
Not bad, could have been worse. Gonna come around this way. Ooh, we got tires. We could probably diff lock this. Gonna go right over them. Back into four wheel drive. All right, good start so far. Ooh, shoot. See, I'm tempted to just kind of like ramp over that, but I don't think it's gonna work. I think that's a, ooh, ouch. It's a good way to hurt your, hurt your vehicle, that's for sure. I guess sections like that we can go pretty fast, but you just, you gotta be smart about it. All right, we wanna make sure we avoid these things. Ooh. And then I think this is that seesaw that it was talking about. Kind of a, ooh, stuck on a little bit there. We're okay though. Kind of a different seesaw than we've seen before, but we got it. All right, then we've got this up here. Do we want to diff lock this? Probably. Just kind of run right over it, back into four wheel drive. We're at a minute and 15. Woo, all right. So we're, we're on pace. We're plus, or down five seconds from the goal on that first lap there. Hopefully the second lap's gonna be a little bit faster. This, this one kind of freaks me out a little bit. If you put your tire like in the, the center of those tires, you're gonna be in trouble. You can easily get stuck pretty bad. There we go, all right, through that. This one we were pretty solid on our first time. Just kind of hit it a bit of an angle so it's not a straight on. I think that's the biggest thing. You don't want to hit things straight on and kind of stop your momentum. Pretty good so far. Gotta get through. I mean, this section itself is kind of a little bit sketchy coming around this corner. You do feel the the gravel and the sand underneath you kind of kind of giving a little bit. So it's it's not like you've got fantastic, insane uh, traction and, and handling. Like you, you can feel it kind of sliding around a little bit. So you got to be careful about that. Here we go. Come up here. I don't even know if we need to block through here, but I'll do it anyway. All right, we're up to 230. Still on on par for a uh, for a gold medal. Let's see if we can do it, baby. Last section. I think this is probably the most challenging obstacle. Try to hit that straight on. Beautiful. That was our best one yet. See how clean that was? That's what I'm talking about, dude. Come in here, diff lock it. Roll right over those guys. Oh, we're starting to get even better than we were at the start, dude. Woo. Beautiful. This, I think we want to break a little bit. That way we don't end up landing on our front wheels. Let's go, baby. This is going to be our best lap yet. I'm feeling it. All right, we've got two obstacles left, or three left. We've got these guys, the seesaw, and then the sticks. Get around those guys. Not bad. This section isn't the easiest but we just killed it dude i'm feeling i'm feeling super confident right now all right we've got one more section left these little pipes or sticks or whatever you want to call them Whew. get through there back to our four-wheel drive and it looks like that is going to be an easy victory let's go 345 with the gold medal, that's what I'm talking about. So it looks like you earn points for each challenge throughout the season. We got 25 points for being in first there. Every round of challenge we play with group A. Same amount of points were awarded. All right, nice. We've got different management options and stuff. You can get sponsors, you can get helmets and everything else. What else do we have here? Forgotten Lake. We've also got Long Beach Adriatic Coast. I'm gonna say let's go to the, let's go to the, the Forgotten Lake. Six minutes, 18 seconds is gonna be our goal this time around. Let's see what we can do, dude. Oh my goodness. We've got uh, logs, rocks, and seesaws that we're gonna have to watch out for. Should be a little more challenging. That last one, the first one we did was, was kind of, was kind of on a track, you know what I mean? So it was, it was pretty simple. You hit the, you hit the obstacles and then you were good to just floor it and hit the corners easily and everything else. This is actual like real, off-roading territory, so you're gonna have to worry about all the, the little changes and humps and hills and stuff of the normal ground. And then they're adding the uh, the obstacles on top of that. But we're, we're gonna be okay. Come on, baby. Gotta worry about our entry and exit angles and stuff. Don't wanna hit these posts. Not too bad so far. So 618, we wanna be 
six or 206 on our lap time with the three laps to make it worth it we're about one minute through already oh shoot what is this oh that's the seesaw okay all right I would imagine we want to stay out of the water water is probably gonna slow you down greatly looking pretty good so far Through here, we got some logs. Those aren't that big of a deal, though. Dude, I mean, this you, you kind of got to make some pretty quick decisions. Like, I I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this game. I don't know if it's something that I would, I would play a ton of. I don't know if it's something that's going to make a good full series for us. Oh, shoot. You guys saw the line I wanted, but we didn't hit it correctly. Oh, no. We had a, we had a good thing going here. We had a, a really good thing going and we messed it up. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna try reversing through here. <laughs> okay, my bad. Here we go. Let's try this again. We should have gone all the way left and then gone around and cut right here. That is what I wanted to do, but it's still still kind of messed that up a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so we're at 215. What did I say? 206 was our goal. And that's with our that's with our our penalties so I think if we could figure out that final that final obstacle we actually might be able to get something done here but we just I mean there's a line bet between pushing it too far and it's a, a thin line you know what I mean like it's, it's gonna be really easy to flip this thing through these sections but yeah as I was saying I mean I didn't I didn't know how I felt about this game um, I don't know that it's something that I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not against it. Like, if you guys are interested into it, it's honestly more fun than I was expecting. But I've got a feeling it might be one of those things that's just, like, more fun to play than it is to watch. So you guys will, uh... You guys will have to have to let me know. Got kind of caught up on that one back there. But we're just gonna keep on chugging, boy. Dig in there! Come on! country accent coming out we're out here mudding come on baby we're good Woo. jumped off what 10 seconds that's a yoke bro no chance I absolutely did not jump off there I was more patient about that than I think I've ever been about anything in my entire life I let that thing touch the ground go back to the replay because I don't believe it that's kind of cool that you can see your ruts from your last run Okay, this this is this is where we had issues. All right, still still having issues. I think we want to go like that. I'll just I'll, I'll take down all the ribbons, dude. I don't like ribbons anyway. Let's see if uh, see if the judge is mad at me again. Wait an extra second to make sure that those things are touching the ground. I really don't think it was very close in that last one. I don't know. I might have to go back and watch the tape. Maybe I was a little impatient because I'm trying to get up there and trying to complete this thing as fast as possible. But I I've, I've felt like we were in, in good shape on that one. But here we go. All right, our final little challenge. I mean, we haven't really tried the differential on it. Maybe that's what we want to do. I'm just going to throw the differential on and just, just plow right through it. That's what you do when you have problems and, and things like that in life. You just plow right through them, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to end it at 614. We still got a gold medal, even with the 22-second penalty. Let's go, baby. Another 25 points. We did quite a bit of damage. Go ahead and repair it. It's going to cost us 600 bucks, but uh, we made quite a bit there anyway. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, this game's kind of interesting. I'm not against doing a few more videos. Let me, know, just let, me, let me know what you guys think. I'm curious. I'll see you all later. Peace out.